All right, guys, my here. It's been a while since I've done a video and uh, wanted to update you on my home orchard here. Chestnuts are coming alive. This is a three-year-old sleeping giant. And you can always kind of tell which ones are the early chestnuts and which ones are the later chestnuts, at least I can. Um, they always seem to come out of dormancy earliest and uh, the early ones do and uh, the later ones uh, vice versa. So uh, like I said, this is a sleeping giant. Uh, it's about to put on some leaves. So it's one of the earlier chestnuts that I have. And uh, I think it's about second week of March. So anyway, there you go. On to Dunstan. Uh, these are second year in the ground, so they should start growing pretty good. I got these on clearance. They didn't do much last year. They just kind of hung on and barely clung to life. And it's about the same as far as uh, growth wise as the sleeping giant I have three Dunstans in the uh, in the yard this one right here is supposed to be a Dunstan you can see it's not quite as developed so probably gonna be a little later Dunstan but it's coming to life Here's my, my oldest Dunstan. It's about 10 years old. And it's about as far developed as the uh, earlier one. You can see. So it's right in line. And uh, here is just a regular old Chinese. But, uh... I'm sure it has some Dunstan in it. I, again, it's 10 years old. Big tree. Uh, at least 30 foot tall. It produces nuts every year. I didn't have a very good crop last year, so I expected to have a decent one this year barring uh, weather conditions, obviously. Uh, I'll take you over to my other, uh, these are the late droppers we're getting into now. And so you're gonna see what I meant by later developed. These right here, as you can see, are just barely peeking out. They have some green, but just barely. I don't know if my camera can focus on it. Maybe it will. Like I said, it's about the second week of March right now. Maybe I can get my camera to focus on There it goes. There's just a little bit of green peeking out there and I'll take you over to another one it's even later than that maybe and looked at well looks like it's a little further developed actually maybe it's right in, it's about it's about the same these trees are late when I say late normally now like I said it all depends on weather conditions for the year if we've had a big drought um, or something of that nature, they'll drop early. Um, you know, you can't control weather. You can only water them so much, that type of thing. And if it's been, you know, real hot, but in normal weather, they'll drop uh, mid-October, uh, early November. So this one's even later or close to those other ones. It's 
So there you go. And then there's a spot right there for another one. I'm waiting on uh, the nursery to ship me a tree any day now. So I've been emailing them. They're supposed to ship it to me. I had one uh, dying. I just cut it back. Got tired of fooling with it. And right here, I'm just going to say dip for last. I've got another spot, and I already planted it uh, last fall. Let's see if I can get my camera. There you go. Focused. It's real tiny, but it's there. I've got a black satin. And it's putting out. And my camera ain't focusing. Maybe if I backed it off. But well, anyway, it's there. So maybe in a few years I'll have some black sat chestnuts. Something different. But anyway, there you have it. That's the orchard, guys. Got the yard mowed yesterday. It's supposed to, expecting a line of thunderstorms to come through today. So, uh, we'll see. And uh, so anyway, about to go inside the house here. So, take care, guys. And uh, God bless. If you have any questions, comments, Please uh, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Take care.